What's up everyone, welcome to the eighth and final episode of this uh, six bed mansion tutorial using UTB 1.12 texture pack available from my website. Okay, uh, let's get the next layer done. So the next layer up looks like this, pretty straightforward layer. Uh, we're simply gonna go around here with stone bricks all around the outside like this. This is a really easy layer. So they should be following up from this jungle wood like this. simply go around. So you should have a jungle wood border like that and then that should show you exactly where to put all these uh, roof tiles. So we're using stone brick stairs in my texture pack or I know a lot of you are building this in your own texture pack. Um, whatever you've chosen for the roof, whichever looks good, uh, go ahead and place them as a little skirting all the way around. So nice easy starter for this episode welcome back everyone thank you so much for watching um all the episodes if you've if you've watched all the episodes and thank you so much for trying out the build as well it's always really great to get feedback in the comments of people who've been building this along or people have just been watching as well and kind of learning as well how roofs are made how walls are done um i certainly learned a lot a lot from this build. let's skip over the front of this and just carry on with some of these uh stone brick stairs We've learned about windows, double walls, uh, layouts, and I would say it's a modern house. It's, um, it's uh, as in it's up to date because there's so many ensuite bathrooms. It's kind of the secret when you look at a house. When was it built? Oh, was it built hundred years ago? Uh, doesn't does it look like this? Well, it could be built a hundred years ago or it could be built last year. But the houses built in the last 10, 20 years often have ensuite bathrooms, and that's the way you can tell often if a house is uh, contemporary or not, even though it's a very traditional style of house, uh, it could be up to date, it's built very, very recently. Okay, so at the front here, what is uh, told to be used is used some white wool, which is nice. And looks like the rest of this is simply just, uh, oh, what do we have here? Snow, yeah, I think I just broke a block. What block did I break? I just broke this broke this block here so yeah as you can see we've got to put uh, snow simply over all the gaps so let me just place a couple of these blocks uh, and then I'll switch on the printer I think yeah we're just going to place these exactly over the entire build what I'm going to do is put some temporary blocks down here so when I switch the printer on we've actually got something to grab onto and start printing from. Unless, where does it go? Where does, it, where, oh, we should be okay. Now, let's just put the printer on. And so all we're doing really is printing snow above each room. So cover up each room, give it a ceiling. So from the inside, the house, uh, the rooms look like they've got this nice white snowy ceiling and of course any white block would do white wool would be good uh, white quartz white concrete or maybe even different colors of ceiling depending on which room you're in so i think some people were struggling with the layout as well um which rooms were which i mean, didn't, didn't go over that um i think the first episode i really went over the layout but i can maybe do it again put some labels inside this place you can always come on my server and have a look around this house. This house is finally on my server. Uh, it's got some good landscaping as well. And you'll be able to have a look around it and learn the layout that way. You, all you need is access to a PC and Minecraft Java edition. If you've got Bedrock edition, you can download... Um, what is this? This should be... Why isn't this building? <laughs> this is snow, right? Why isn't, why isn't the snow being placed here automatically? That is, that is bizarre. Okay, hold on. Wait, what is this? Let me check. This is, oh, it's a thin layer of snow. Why has he put a thin layer? He's put a, a very, very thin layer of snow here. Uh, that's odd. Why is that ha Why has he done that? Very, very thin. Let me try. If I do this and put a thin layer of snow, does that... Ooh, he's put a very thin layer. There's no need for that, though. There's actually no need for that. So I'm just going to fill this in with just normal snow. 
because it's only the bottom there that shows up anyway so I don't know I don't know quite why that was done like that it's a little bit weird you need that world edit to, to make that snow float as well anyway Nearly finished this level. Went pretty quickly. Again, this is snow. No need for that snow. And this is, for some reason, this is snow as well. I mean, it, it does let a bit more light through. So if you have some lights in the attic, maybe there's some lights above this on the next level. Uh, that layer of snow would let light uh, through. But no matter. It's fine. It's good enough for our build. <coughs> and we've got a little bit to do, <coughs> excuse me, over here. Great. Um, next level up. Ah, yeah, you see, he's put glow. This is glowstone. This is glowstone. So, okay, I don't think, you know, that's really possible without world edit. So, you can either ha miss out the snow layer and just have some glowstone up there, <coughs> or maybe some string and carpet. I'll leave that up to you. But there's some light coming down into these hallways to make them a little bit lighter, the darkest parts of the house. So, as you can see, we're up at the next level. <coughs> And let me just switch the printer off and, <coughs> excuse me, wow, frog, frog in my throat, big time. <coughs> Let's do this bit at the front here and the sides. Oops, like that. And then really, really, it's simple. It's, I'm going to put the printer on because this is just simply going around adding in another layer of roof. So wherever there was roof, we just go in one block, and we just go up. I think the rest of the roof is pretty much going to be the same as this. I don't see there being too much problem. Just a, ne a next layer of roof. Hard work. This is very, very hard work to do. Obviously, it's easy with me with my Schematica mod. But that's normally very hard work indeed. Okay, up to the next level. Again, I'm going to do this bit at the front by hand. So you've got jungle, 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 and then white wool here. And then are we just going up again? Yeah, we're just going up again with the roofs. This is really, really simple. You can just place this automatically. corner and into here excellent okay uh, let's switch off that printer and see what the next level is like okay it's just, just exactly the same guys absolutely exactly the same jungle stair here 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 and here so we step back and have a quick look and see how things are looking from here that should be okay there we go and then yeah we'll just continue on up with this roof, let's go for it. Hope you enjoyed the inspiration series with Corrales. Plenty more showcases from my server and other servers coming up uh, very, very soon indeed. It was great fun making the inspiration series again with Corrales and uh, we're planning to do quite a lot more showcases. There we go, so excellent. Let's uh, go up another level and I'm gonna switch the printer off to do this little bit at the front by hand. It's uh, pretty much similar to what we've been doing already, but uh, these bits are just coming together and meeting at a point right there. And again, some nice white wool going in just there. And then we'll just carry on up with this roof. Pretty straightforward. Going, keep going, keep going. Awesome. Brilliant, brilliant. I think we're, we're getting very close to the top of this roof. Ooh, not much to do now. It's starting to come together. Let's go up to the next level. I'm just going to do this bit at the front uh, by hand again. 
uh, I'm not too sure why, because it's very, very simple. We've got to simply um, those blocks in there uh, like that. And then we'll just continue on with the roof in this direction. Again, another level all the way around. So this, is, this couldn't be easier. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, it's hard work, really. I mean, there's no thinking involved. You just keep on going up with the brick here, and this roof is just going to work out itself on, in the end. Well, we're coming right to a much more narrow point here, which means we're nearly finished. Eight episodes. Pretty good progress, actually. Pretty good progress to do this a build so complicated in just eight episodes. Okay, we get to this stage here. Okay, I'll just quickly move round and show you exactly where we've got to so far nice big attic as well you could expand into the attic if you wanted okay next level up is very 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 simple um i'm just going to place a temporary block right there and that should get us going this comes together to a point right here very satisfying so that's that section of the roof done as you can see in this angle very cool indeed This bit's nearly coming to a point, but it's probably going to have uh, some slabs on it. I think some slabs will be going on there. So have a look at that next level. Yeah, that's going to be some little slabs here. Um, so we're going to need to place a little seed as well to get ourselves started. And we'll just keep on going. Round and round we go. Uh, so that bit is going to go there. Yeah, that's just that's just slabs at the end there. You can see. Uh, some simple slabs okay up we go again the next level really straightforward again no secrets here <laughs> up again just for completion for satisfaction stake we're gonna just stay with this and get this finished isn't this fun Up again, next level. Here we go. Oh my goodness, this is this is uh, exciting. Nearly finished this house. It's been a long project. It's been fun to do. Um, hasn't got that many views on my channel, but I, don't know, I, think, I think those views will pick up over time. People do like these complicated tutorials. They like learning the secrets of house building in Minecraft as well. Up we go again to the very next level. Little seed there. Place that block there as a little seed, and we'll ca crack on. And there we go, we are finished. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> House complete. House complete. Isn't that amazing? Right, we'll take a quick tour through the house again let me grab a torch in case it's dark inside so if you didn't understand the layout before uh pay attention this is the hallway here hallway okay staircase this is the office here and this office has a little uh storage closet at the side oh you're missing scary noises uh this is the dining room here dining room and then through here is a hallway off the hallway is like a utility room, a mud room, and the garage. You're gonna need to put a garage floor down. I haven't done that. Um, through here, I think, is a bedroom. Yep, we've got a bedroom in here and a bathroom in here. Back to the dining room. Off the dining room, we've got the main living area and the kitchen through here. And the kitchen has this little uh, breakfast room here. And I think that's the bottom floor complete. It is the bottom floor complete. Apart from here, we've got a little closet. Oh, uh, a little door here into the main living room area. We've got a little um, hallway here and then a, a big bedroom here with a bathroom. This could be the master bedroom, by the way, because it's got its own kind of, it's got a double bathroom system. A double bathroom system would probably be the kind of thing you would find in uh, the master bedroom or this could be a family bathroom and that could be the bathroom for that bedroom so yeah probably not the master bedroom the more I think about it upstairs we have a little music room in here and then a hallway off the hallway we've got a bedroom and this bedroom shares this bathroom with this bedroom which links us back onto this main hallway with the lights above it 
and then this hallway has a main family bathroom off it. Then we can come up the stairs again, turn left this time, go through into this hallway. We get to this bedroom, which has its own walk-in wardrobe, its own bathroom in here. And then through here, we have a snug. And then in here, we have another last bedroom. And this bedroom's got a nice big bathroom in here and a walk-in closet and then a secret storage room in here. And there's one more secret storage room uh, back through off the music room, I think should be in here yeah we made a little secret storage room in here uh, as well how cool is that <laughs> storage in the eaves that is the house thank you very much for watching this tutorial it's been a great pleasure to bring it to you and uh, do check out the description because it will show you exactly where the house is on my server take care for now in the blocks be with you